If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? <laughs> ah, that song. It's a different these days. Hey guys, so today's video is really, really exciting. ColourPop has done it again. They have made another epic, epic, epic collab. Guys, I got so excited when I saw this delivered in the mail. I disinfected it with wipes, but I got really, really, really excited. This is ColourPop's new Mulan collection. So freaking exciting. This packaging is absolutely killer. Look at this. <gasps> Oh my gosh, honestly, when I was looking through this box, I think it's some of the prettiest packaging ColourPop has ever done. Ever, ever. And that's Sailor Moon, Disney, Zodiac. <laughs> this is truly so beautiful and special. The details on this box is incredible. By the way, there are a lot of shadows in my video today. It's very shadowy. I am filming this at midnight. Literally, I had a really bad ocular migraine this morning and it honestly took me out I had to lay in bed turn off all the lights and try to nap because my head was pounding so So bad and I couldn't film earlier, but I started feeling better and I got up and I was like, you know what? I gotta film that Mulan video. So I had some coffee <laughs> and here I am We are gonna be testing out all the products in the Mulan collection and I'm so excited Mulan was such an epic movie. I remember watching that movie for the first time and I was really young when that movie came out. Let me see, let me see. I remember watching that trailer and wanting to go see that movie like it was yesterday. What? This movie came out in 1998? No way. No. I was six years old and I remember going to the movie theater and seeing this and seeing the trailer and just being so moved by this movie and I was six years old. What? I at least thought I was 10. Well, I was six years old and totally inspired by Mulan. I was like, ah, I can do those things that Mulan did. Badass shit is not just for boys. It was such a powerful movie and I think it was a really important movie for me to see growing up and I'm so excited to try out these products. I was like swatching everything and it looks Chef's kiss. These colors are so up my alley. This collection is so up my alley. Let's dive in. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna insert swatches of everything, give you some quick information, just show you the overall collection up close before I get into the actual try-on portion and the first impressions of the video. So we can get to swatches like ASAP and you can see things like right now. So let's do that. So this collection launches March 19th. If you're watching this video when I post it, this launched yesterday. It comes with the Mulan Pressed Powder Eyeshadow Palette. This palette retails for $22. You get a mixture of mattes, satins, some shimmers, and even some really pretty foil, metallic-y type of shades. The color selection is really beautiful. You get some cool tone shades, some really intense warm colors. It is really beautiful. You get two pressed powder blushes. One is a little bit more cool toned, one is a little warmer they both have shimmer in them which isn't my favorite but we'll see on the face they do swatch out really nicely like I like the colors you also get one luxe liquid lipstick which is in this really gorgeous blood red shade and then you also get one of the luxe glosses which I really love this formula this shade is really gorgeous it's like a sheer glittery golden shade really pretty and then the last lip you get is a luxe lipstick which the packaging on this is so incredible I know I already said that but I cannot stress that enough the details on this packaging on this collection is truly incredible down to the bullet look at the shape of this lipstick like the bullet is so freaking beautiful this color is also really stunning and then you get two four three products in the collection as well you get the jasmine face milk which i'm assuming has jasmine in it i really do like their face milks the turmeric one is my favorite 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 and then you get this freaking beautiful the cap on this is so lovely like i love it it is so so beautiful this is the gold lip mask which I've never tried any of ColourPop's lip masks. I don't know if this is the first one, but the color is really pretty and the packaging is nice. So we shall see. And then this also comes part of the PR box. I'm not sure if you can purchase this, but this is gonna be awesome to dry my setting spray. I use my Patrick Ta one all the time, or shall I say I use my Patricta one all the time. <laughs> and so I'm gonna use this one today. But okay, now that you saw everything up close and poisonal, Let's try everything on. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyes first and I'm going to prime the lids with a little bit of concealer. Okay, so I know I would normally use all of the warm shades in this palette, of course, but I'm actually gonna do a cool tone look 
just because I want to do something a little bit different. I'm automatically drawn to this damn red, but I'm going to try not to use it. I'm going to go a cool toned route. I'm going to do a nice, simple little smoky eye, and I want to use one of these new shadow formulas. This is like their new foiled, pressed, I don't, I don't know, it's really, really beautiful. It's like not thick like a glitter, but it's not smooth like a shimmer, if that makes sense. But okay, let's do this. Okay, now I'm gonna take my concealer again and I'm going to carve out the inner part of my eye so that it looks nice and sharp and clean. It's kind of like a cut crease, but not really. take a brush with no product on it and I'm going to blend that concealer into that other shade. Like that. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Warrior. And I think I'm going to use my finger. Well, no. I'm going to use a brush. Well, I'm going to use my finger and then I'm going to use a brush on the edges. <laughs> super pretty. It's like a taupey silver, but it has a little bit of like a bluish green undertone. You can't really see it unless you move your head around or you look at this eyeshadow in a certain light, but it is really pretty. Really quickly, I'm going to do this on this side and then I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to take one of the foiled colors. This one is called Like a Girl and I want to apply this color right where the matte and the shimmer meet, like right where we carved out the eyeshadow and I kind of want to do it as if it were a glitter liner so I don't know how that's gonna go because this obviously isn't a glitter it's a shimmery eyeshadow so let's see but I'm going to apply my ABH glitter adhesive and then wherever I put down my glitter glue I'm gonna go right behind it and apply the eyeshadow <music> Okay, so I think that looks cool. I think that looks cool. I think I went overboard and a little thick on this side, but that's what happens when we try things out for the first time here. But you know, it doesn't look horrible. 
I like it. Now I'm just gonna deepen up the outer corners a bit. And I'm first gonna start off with this dark gray I was using earlier, but then I'm gonna add a little bit of this shimmery black. I don't want the outer corners to be like shimmery, so I'm only gonna add a little bit of that. brush into that black shimmery shade all you have to do is dust off the shimmer and then you get that super intense black shade Okay, so before we finish up the eyes, you already know we gotta start on the face. I'm actually gonna use the Jasmine Face Milk as a primer. Why not? Oh. Does it smell like Jasmine? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, it does. Does it? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is. That's Jasmine. Took me a second. I don't know why, but I smell it. it smells really nice, actually. And then I'm gonna go in with the gold lip mask. I wanna put this on so that it can sit on my lips while I do the rest of my makeup. And then we can remove it before I put on the lip product. Interesting. The shimmer in this product is super throwing me off. Like it feels really nice, but why is that shimmer throwing me off? I don't know. <laughs> but let's see, it doesn't smell like anything. I mean, maybe a slight vanilla scent, but it's barely noticeable. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit on my lips. And now for foundation, I'm gonna be mixing two new ones together. This is the Makeup Forever Reboot, and this is the J.Cat Skin Insurance Foundation. I've been mixing my products a lot recently. My concealers, my foundations. I'm very into that these days. And I'm gonna be using that with another ColourPop sponge. I've been testing each of them out. I really like their little hourglass one. So today I'm gonna test this one out. This one is like huge. I feel like it's bigger than their other one. For concealer, I'm gonna do another cocktail. I'm gonna take the J.Cat Stay Assurance Concealer, but I'm gonna mix a little bit of it with the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Concealer. I have been testing this out recently. I'm not gonna apply powder underneath my eyes. I've been doing that recently, you guys know. My skin is just too dry. But I am gonna finish up the eyes now. I'm gonna apply some black eyeliner. This is actually not a black one, it's like charcoaly. It's called Irony. It's from Marc Jacobs. Now I'm gonna take these two shades and just buff them on my lower lash line, make it nice and smoky. And then I'm also gonna apply some of this black shade. Okay, so the eyes are completely done. I put on my new favorite freaking mascara. This Bad Bitch Lift from Wet n Wild and Bretman Rock is so 
freaking good. Overall, of course, I really enjoyed this palette. I always enjoy ColourPop palettes. They're not only really affordable, they're really good quality, and I'm happy with it. Of course, I can't wait to dive into the warm shades in this. But I do really like the eye look I created even though it's so on the opposite end of the color spectrum when it comes to what I like <laughs> But I really like it really quickly. I'm gonna throw on some bronzer. I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer Sorry for the face I make, okay? I can't help it every time I put on bronzer or something, I'm like, I can't help it. Okay, so out of the two blushes, I'm gonna use the cooler toned one, which is this one. It's such a pretty color. It's like a nude rose, but more nude than anything. And I'm gonna take this a cosmetics brush, dip it into this, and then tap off all of that glitter that's in this product. Cause I just want that color. You just see all the glitter just flying in the air. I'm not sure if you can see, you probably can't tell on camera, but even though there are a few little shimmers showing up on my cheeks, it's so minimal. I did dust away most of it, so I really, really like it. I would prefer it without the glitter, of course, but it doesn't really show up. Not too bad, at least. I really, really like that blush, really soft and natural. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Highlighter Duo, and this is the one with Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I'm gonna take Lightning Dust with my Bremero brush, and I'm going to pop that on the cheeks. I'm going for this highlight because it's actually a really, really natural highlight. It just gives you like a barely there sheen, and I don't want anything too crazy. It gives you like a soft, Highlight. It's almost like a pearly finish as opposed to a metallic one like this one I'm gonna set my face with my beauty bakery Wow, I forgot how intense that sprayed because even though it's in this kind of bottle like the morphe one it's spray <laughs> It's strong Woo! You have to keep your hand very far away. I also forgot that, that one is a completely different formula. That one is like mattifying, but it does make your makeup last all day. You just gotta keep your hand away from your face. This is coming in handy. Okay, so I'm gonna take off my lip mask. Lips feel nice. I mean, I only had it on for a little bit, but my lips do feel nice. Oh, no, no, no. Too much setting spray, damn it. Oh. My under eyes, my freaking under eyes. See, that is the downside of not setting your under eyes. I'm gonna quickly line my lips with my Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in Girl Next Door. Okay, and then right on top of that, I would like to use the Lux Liquid Lipstick, of course, but that red and this eye might be a little bit too much for me. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this lipstick and this lip gloss. So I'm gonna dab a little bit of this on top. I'm just gonna lightly tap this in because I don't want it to be too, too intense. This color is so, so pretty. Love it. And then right on top of that, like I said, I'm gonna pop on the Luxe Lip Gloss. Furry Pebbles. Ooh, this color is beautiful. I love it. I love this lip combo. It's so pretty. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This was my review. Review, no. First impressions, uh, try on situation of the new Mulan and ColourPop collection. This collection was absolutely beautiful. I love the palette, the blush was really nice. I love the lip products I tried out. Everything in this collection is a formula I'm used to and that I love except for this lip mask. I'm still like on the fence with this product actually. If there's anything in this collection I'm like, I don't know, 
it's this I'd love to use it overnight I know if a lip mask is good when I use it throughout the night so I'm gonna test that out tonight and if you're thinking about checking out the Mulan collection you can use my code I have a coupon code at Colourpop it's just Kathleen Lights and you can save some money and at first that code wasn't working on collabs like you couldn't use it towards any collabs but you actually can now so my code can be used site-wide on Colourpop you can save some money use my code but yeah that's it Wow what time is it 124 time to go to sleep I'm gonna go wash wash all of this off and get ready for bed but anyway guys that completes this video I hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see from me next but yeah like I said that completes this video guys I love you so 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 much thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye